Credit Suisse are saying it's going to be a tough time, possibly a loss at the investment bank in the second quarter. And they specifically talk about the market value. This really rings alarm bells. Mm. The market value of our 8.6% investment in all funds groups. I'm just trying to get the statement opened here. Uh, and that's the core of where this second quarter warning is coming from, but they are still sticking to their capital ratio, 14%. Danny. Yeah, it, look, it's interesting because as to why they see these losses, they're citing these geopolitical issues that everyone's grappling with. They say Russia's invasion of Ukraine, significant monetary policy yep. tightening by central banks, unwind of COVID stimulus measures. They say that means heightened volatility, weak customer flows, client deleveraging, and they specifically note the APAC region, Manus. Yes, and just continuing on from that statement. So those are, th look, those are the issues about market volatility, Danny. But then it goes on to talk yeah. about the investment bank. Our advisory revenues are resilient. Our GTS revenues compared to last year, they benefited from higher volatility, albeit an uneven performance. April and May are likely to lead to losses for this division, as well as the group for the second quarter. So low levels of capital markets issuance, and we'll put this to Deutsche Bank in just a moment. So low levels of capital markets issuance and a widening of credit spreads, depressed financial performance in April and May is what's going to hit them. And also, this is the other thing, the volatility in the market hitting our eight and a half 8.6% investment in all funds. So a pretty toxic combination for this group, led by Gottstein, who has quite literally fired everybody. Um, and he is the caretaker. And, and, and they've mm. nursing losses from what? Archegas, $5.5 billion, yeah. Greensill. Um, tough times for Gottstein.